Hello children, Teacher Jenny is here. It's a story time. Do you know where am I now? Yes, I am sitting on a giant beanstalk. Whoa, it's so scary from here. And you are look so tiny from up here. By the way, do you know there's a very famous story about beanstalk? Today, I will tell you a story about a boy named Jack and the beanstalk. Are you ready? Let's get started. Jack and the Beanstalk Jack and the Beanstalk My first reading book Story retold by Janet Brown Illustration by Ken Morton A poor widow lived with her only son Jack in a small cottage. They had no money and the widow struggled to feed them. Every day she told her son, You must find a job. And every day Jack replied, I'll find a job tomorrow. Times were hard and soon the widow had to sell her old brown cow. You must take her to market. Make sure you get a good price, she told Jack. On the way, Jack met the butcher. If you give me your fine cow, I will pay you with these magic beans, said the butcher. So Jack sold the cow and brought home the beans. His mother was so angry. You silly boy! Now what will we eat? She cried and she threw the beans out of the window. The next morning, there was a giant beanstalk in the garden, exactly where the beans had landed. It must be magic, thought Jack, and he began to climb the beanstalk. He climbed for miles into the sky and finally he saw a huge castle floating on a cloud. The castle belonged to a wicked ogre who ate people for fun. Jack tiptoed inside and when he heard the ogre returning, he crept into the oven to hide. The ogre came into the kitchen, roaring the song. Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bone to make my bread. Then, seeing no one around, he set a large white goose upon the table. Lay, he commanded, and the goose laid a golden egg. Lay, he said again, and the goose laid another golden egg. When there were twelve eggs on the table, the ogre fell asleep. Jack climbed quietly out of the oven. He tucked the goose under his arm and he ran out of the castle and down the beanstalk as fast as his legs will carry him. At home, he showed the goose to his mother. Lay! commanded Jack and the goose laid a golden egg. Jack's mother was so happy, she burst into tears. Soon, they had all the food they needed. But Jack was longing for another adventure, so back he climbed up the beanstalk. When the ogre returned to his castle, 
Jack was hiding in the cupboard. Again, the ogre roared. Fee, fi, fo, fam! I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bone to make my bread. Then, seeing no one around, he sat down and counted his money. Soon, he fell asleep. Jack climbed quietly out of the cupboard. He tucked the money's bag under his arm and he ran out of the castle and down the beanstalk as fast as his leg will carry him. At home, he showed the money to his delighted mother. Soon, Jack was longing for another adventure. So back he climbed up the beanstalk. When the ogre returned to his castle, Jack was hiding in the wooden chest. Again, the ogre roared. Fee, fi, fo, fam! I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bone to make my bread. Then, seeing no one around, he set a golden harp upon the table. Play! He commanded, and the harp played beautiful music. Stop! commanded the ogre at last. And he fell asleep. Jack climbed quietly out of the cupboard. He tucked the harp under his arm, and then he ran as fast as his leg would carry him. But the harp cried out, Master! Master! And the ogre woke up. The ogre chased Jack out of the castle and down the beanstalk. Quick, mother! Bring the hatches! cried Jack. And he chopped the beanstalk down. So that was the end of the ogre. And Jack and his mother were rich and happy for the rest of their lives. Okay children, so what did you learn from the story? Actually, what I learned is what Jack did are wrong. Through the story, we learn always obey what your parents say. What yours is yours. Do not take others' belongings without their permission. DM. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye.